are an experimental factory, so all our activity is an experiment. Uh, if you ask why, uh, we, in which way we can be also economically successful, it is a little bit complicated to explain, but it has a lot to do with these skills of design management. I mean, it is true that we experiment every day. This is, by the way, a good reason for me to wake up in the morning, otherwise it will be too boring. Today, Alessi is uh, 500 people, uh, 450 working here. We produce all, almost all, what is called formed metal in this headquarter in Cusinallo. But of, in our cattle we have so many other materials. For example, we have cast metals, uh, porcelain, glass and crystal, plastic, wood. Each one of these new mat other materials has a different story in terms of production. For all, we of course develop the design inside. We do the engineering, but then we subcontract in different parts of the world. There is nothing anymore to invent in terms of functionality. On the other side, there is a lot to explore about the imaginary of people, about the aesthetics. Uh, functionality is, of course, very important. If you talk about a pot or a coffee maker or even a wine cooler, of course, it must work. Bruno Monari, a maestro of industrial design, was uh, saying that uh, it is uh, simply not given to human being to create something that has a form which perfectly matches with one function. It is just impossible. There is always a little space, a little or bigger space, between one function and a form which is supposed to, to answer to that function. And this little space is the space where designers work. In his uh, knowledge, there was only, only one uh, example of an object where the form perfectly was perfectly matching with the function, and it was the egg. <laughs> but then he was saying, first, it is not a human being creation, but a chicken one, and second, it is actually made with the ass. When I say that uh, this is a design lab, or better, a research lab in design. I mean that we, our real uh, role is to be mediators. We uh, uh, continuously mediate between the best expressions of creativity, I mean the best designers through all the world. We mediate these designers with the final customers, final people dreams. This activity of mediation means that uh, first we are developing projects with hundreds of designers. And uh, second, that we develop an enormous quantity of new projects. That is true. Then we test the projects, we try to understand what kind of life they can have. And we decide, I decide, uh, whether it makes sense to continue to produce, to put on on the society, on the market, or not. This fact of being um, research labs in design means that we have developed, improved year after year, our skills of design management in a way that no other companies around the world outside Italy are able to manage. This is why if you are looking for the best uh, Spanish design, I mean the best, you are obliged to open the, the catalog of an Italian design factory, not necessarily a less, I mean. The destiny of an Italian design company like Alessi is to work 
very close to uh, a borderline. A borderline which uh, divides two areas, two opposite areas in a way, the area of possible and the area of not possible. The area of possible being represented by new projects that uh, people, final customer, will be ready to understand, to wish, to love, to accept, and then to buy. And on the other side, the area of not possible being represented by, by new ideas that people are not ready to understand. The problem is that this borderline is not clearly marked, and you cannot see with your eyes. And by sure, you cannot understand with the marketing research. You can only feel where it is, more or less, with the qualities that, by the way, are more and more rare in industrial culture and in, the, in industrial practice. I mean intuition, sensibility, and the acceptance to work in a risky area, to take risk, the wish to take risk. Having understood that, what a real serious mass production company like a car producer does, they try to work as far as possible from the borderline. Very clear, isn't it? But step by step, they are all producing the same car all over the world, or the same TV set, or the same fridge. Instead, the practice of an Italian design company is the opposite. By definition, we have to work very close to the borderline. We know that it is very risky. It is enough to have a little balance on the other side to fall in a fiasco, but it is also the only way to produce a real innovation. The kind of innovation that, that we are offering is mainly an innovation in terms of aesthetics, not an innovation in terms of technique. I'm a car producer uh, and uh, if I have to do a new car, first I ask a very important marketing research in order to ask people what they imagine in their new car. And so the poor final cousin, what they do, they look to the existing cars and they say, oh, I like this back, this front, this part, and this other part. And the researchers, they put everything, all these informations together in a mathematical way, they shake, and at the end comes out the description of the new car, which is already given. It is given then to the poor car designers, they do not design the car, the car is already designed by marketing. This is the reason why cars are ugly. I say that our designers, they work in deep like little Picassos. The practice comes from the intuition, from the inside. It is an act of, uh, of poetical nature, of artistical nature. If you look to the history of Italian design, until all 70s, Italian design was characterized by two elements, fundamental elements, to be produced in Italy, and to be designed by an Italian designer or architect. Then, during the 80s, we had a big shift. At the end of the 80s, suddenly, Italian design was only characterized by being produced in Italy, not anymore by Italian designers, since uh, the majority of the authors in the Italian design factories catalogs were foreigners. And then now, we are probably facing a new step, which uh, will be that the Italian designer will not even anymore be produced in Italy. So not conceived by an Italian designer and not anymore produced in Italy. But it will continue to represent the best in terms of design. What we do is, of course, to test the products but we test just when the creative process is almost finished. Once I have the new prototype in my hands, then, I, yes, of course, I would like to understand which would be 
the reactions of my final customers on this specific new prototype which has been freely created. A tool that we, yes, that we use for testing which is called the formula of the success. Mainly it is based on four parameters. Two parameters which are uh, the classic, normal, industrial, industrially understood, understandable parameters which are function and the price, mm -hmm. and two other parameters which are at the end much more important in our experience, which are one is, is called the sensoriality memory and imaginary, meaning try meaning when people say, Oh, what a beautiful object, trying to explore this. And the second is communication and language. It tries to explore, to measure the the characteristic of an object to be used as a tool to communicate something to other people. We put all them together, at the end there is a result which says the number of pieces that we could sell every year. I was asking Philippe to design a, a tray. The briefing was a tray in stainless steel. I was thinking that, uh, I was sure that uh, with his uh, uh, talent he could create a very simple trade, very simple to manufacture, but very strong in terms of, um, of uh, shape, mm -hmm. new innovation. And then I was discussing since uh, for two years at least, uh, he always was saying, yes, yes, I will do, I will do it, but the intuition was not coming. So. At the end, after two years, he sent me this uh, object, which was his reaction to the, my demand, uh, my request of uh, for a stainless steel tray, a squeezer in aluminum. Because this is another characteristic, very typical of an Italian design factory. We are very open to be shaped by our designers, because for us design is the central part of our activity. So I am always open to receive from a designer that I like his interpretation or her interpretation of Alessi. Alessi.